160 years after slavery was abolished in the Dutch Empire, the country's monarchy has publicly acknowledged its part in the business of slavery. King Willem Alexander said sorry for centuries of exploitation and commodification of hundreds and thousands of human beings. Today I stand before you, today as your king and as a member of the government, I make this apology myself and I feel the weight of the words in my heart and my soul. The Netherlands got involved in the slave trade in the 1500s, becoming the world's largest transatlantic trader. It is estimated its networks are responsible for the trafficking of more than 600,000 people from Africa to the Americas. The King's apology met with mixed reactions. Honestly, I feel good, but um, I am still looking forward to um, something more than just apologies, reparations for example. Uh, the King said something about healing and repairing, but not necessarily about reparations, which are very important for our community to heal. For me, this apology, it's a, it's a justification that the Dutch government has seek apology for their, their, I don't know, they have how they call it. We will call it the crimes against humanity. The king also announced an investigation into the Royal House of Orange Nassau's role in slavery. Activists welcomed the gesture, but say there needs to be a wider conversation about reparations. The past is not the past, uh, because we know that when slavery was abolished, the, the slave owners were, they were paid compensation. That is a form of reparation. And it's those same families uh, who had the wealth, who have been able to build the country, but also... We know that the institutions that came with slavery, it still lives on. It still lives on in the discrimination of people of African descent. Willem Alexander is the latest European leader to openly reckon with the brutality of colonial history. In 2021, Germany agreed to pay Namibia over a billion dollars, calling it action towards reconciliation for the Nama Herero genocide. Belgium's King Philippe expressed deep regrets for the abuses committed during the country's colonization of what is now the Democratic Republic of Congo. The Netherlands is also establishing a $217 million fund to educate its population about the legacy of slavery and to remind everyone it's never too late to apologize. Al Jazeera.